Hello, music enthusiasts and those who play music. Today we're going to delve into the old age dispute between reading music and playing by ear. And welcome to Beat of Her Drum. Now, we all have different learning experiences and our stories and views will differ, but in the music world, we all have some of the same experiences. So I've done some research and I've combined different perspectives with known facts. And I'd really like to hear from you. Could you share your perspective on reading music versus playing by ear? There's no right or wrong answer. So let's go. So there's always been a common debate amongst musicians. Which is better? Am I more valuable if I read? Are ear players more talented? Do sight readers get paid more? And can I get more money if I do both? So reading music is a practical skill that allows you to play new music that you've never seen or heard before. And written music allows music ideas to be written, translated, and interpreted by others. Now, some would argue that reading music is the cornerstone of musical literacy, even though playing by ear is undoubtedly a useful talent. With the use of notation, which offers a global language, musicians can convey complicated concepts with correctness, precision, and consistency. It gives the musician access to a wide range of material and improves their ability to faithfully interpret the intentions of the composers. To a wide range of musical styles, and permits performers to more accurately convey a composer's objectives. And it's important to know how music works so that the linear details of reading music won't hinder you from seeing the big picture. And learning to read music fluently is not an overnight process. It can take years of hard work and perseverance to become a good reader. Now let's go to the other side of the spectrum, playing by ear. And this is a skill that is perfected over time, but most are born with a natural gift that others just don't have. And I'm always amazed how the naturally talented can mimic whatever they hear. While I'm sure that all musicians respect the merits of reading music, playing by ear fosters creativity, being spontaneous, and a deep connection to the emotional essence of the music. It allows the musicians to express themselves freely, breaking away from the constraints of notation. Playing by ear enhances intuition, encourages improvisation, and it promotes a more profound understanding of the musical language by engaging with it on a visceral level. Some would debate a crucial point, that reading music doesn't stifle creativity. In fact, it provides a structural framework that enhances musicians' ability to convey emotions with precision. The naturally talented must also develop their abilities, or their skills will be limited. Now, although structure is essential, it shouldn't come at the cost of just being spontaneous. Playing by ear allows musicians to adapt, respond, and infuse their unique interpretation through the music. It's all about striking a balance between structure and freedom and allowing for a more dynamic and engaging musical experience. So I just want you to stop and think just for a minute. Am I prepared? Am I prepared for any type of situation that might happen on a gig? And am I prepared if someone gives me sheet music and asks, can you sight read? You don't want any missed opportunities like I did because I didn't know how to read. In my opinion, both skills will need it because some jobs will require that you be able to sight read like cruise ships and Broadway plays. Just important to be well-rounded and whether you're an advocate for reading music or just playing by ear, it's clear that both approaches contribute uniquely to the world of music. So I'm just gonna leave it up to you, my music people. And I want you to really think about and weigh the merits of each and perhaps find a harmonious middle ground where notation and intuition coexist. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, watch this next video. I'm sure you will enjoy. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And remember, don't 
miss a uh,